Hey everybody, we're back again. Can you believe it? We're really making a habit out of this, right? Of coming to see you every Friday. I hope we can keep it up until Javi says no, right Javi? Yep. Because <laughs> <laughs> she's, she's in charge, although Diane is learning, but Javi's the one who has the skills in this department. But anyway, this week I'm going to talk to you about something that we do at the Bisu Boutiques Creative Group that's really a lot of fun and it kind of stretches our minds a little bit. For our creativity as artists, jewelry making artists. And that is our monthly challenge. And so what that is, is once a year, Jen Tag and Marcia Tuzzolino, who are members of the group like from the beginning, um, they get together and they choose color palettes that will go with the metals that we use and also beads, whether they're at our site or from your own stash or what. And then you have a challenge. You can make usually whatever you want. Sometimes they'll say it has to be earrings. Sometimes they'll say it has to be a brace or whatever. But usually you can make what you want, but you have to use that color palette in the way they choose. And they mean it too. <laughs> so I'm hoping what I do here today meets it. Because sometimes it's a little bit hard to match. But I'm going to just show you. And I hope this shows up good enough for you on the internet. This is our tri-monthly challenge so you so you can see how they've chosen these colors here for the beads and then they've chosen these colors here for the metal and you can say well be so you don't have any metal that looks that color that's right because this month you have to paint the metal so you have to choose I think it's um one or more from this palette for your metal and then I think it's uh at least two bead colors so you could go with you know really a neutral one you could go with one of these you know colors here and then you could stay with the latte and caramel and you'd have no other color in it but as I look at this I think we really should bring a little blue into it so before I just keep talking about it let's just do it right so come on over here and I'll show you what's going on. I'll show you some pieces that Jan made that you can see how this goes, okay? Come on over. Okay guys, so we're back. So once again, we're talking about the, the monthly challenges we have. And I don't think I mentioned to you that sometimes there are two month challenges, sometimes there are three months, so you have plenty of time to gather your materials to do them. And it's always really nice to, to try and get in there and see what you can do because it, it stretches your brain cells a little bit. I found that to be true this morning when I tried to get in on this palette because for me somehow, I don't know why, but this palette seemed a little challenging for me. I don't know why. It seems kind of logical what to do, but I mean, I kind of go for these colors, but I love blue, but I just couldn't quite see how to put blue into mine, so... Let's look and see what Jan Tag has done. These are two pieces that she sent me from California, where she lives. And this is what she did for the, to, for the challenge. And we have one more month so far to go in the challenge. So knowing Jan, she'll probably have one or two more because she just really loves to get in there. But anyway, for her blue, <coughs> she went with a light blue. And let me just push this over here. She went with the light blue. But hers kind of has a little bit of turquoise. It's how you interpret it, right? That's how you do that. And it's got a little bit of the tan, chocolatey stuff on the edges there. And then it looks like she used alcohol inks on her stampings. So she's got the dark in there. And then she's got a little bit of the red glints in there. And she used that on here, brick red-like. And then she embellished it with a little bit of rhinestone chain. And voila, I'm not sure what's underneath. It looks like maybe a piece of washi tape or decoupage underneath that, but it's a, it's a nice look. She did a good job with it. And we thank Jan so much for sending this for an example. Yay, Jan. Yay. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> and here she did it. She loves beach jewelry. She, Jan does tons of beach jewelry. So she took our uh, seahorse stamping, which we have. All these things were raw brass to begin with. They didn't have any color on them. She applied the color. So anyway, this guy's got, let's see, let's measure him, kind of match him up, see how many. Well, she's got this brick stuff going on in here, and then the dark, and she's got a little bit of kind of goldenish. So I'd say she covered this pretty good. 
and also on her little wheel finding here. She did good. And then um, she went with kind of an aqua bicone, but the, you know that's how she interpreted. And really, for the light blue, it's really a pretty good match. So it's like you know, you go through your stuff, you see what you've got that you know you can do the challenge with basically and then you just put something together it could be a necklace bracelet it could be a set the only thing the girls don't like to see is um just doing earrings only they they have a challenge every sunday for earrings and then once in a while jan has a drawing for that and of course i provide the gift and you get a gifty on this one there'll be a real nice gift because it's a three month challenge but anyway I had to try and get my act together to see what I could do. And I'm going to be very honest with you guys. Often, <clears throat> I, I can't remember the last time I've done the challenge. And I felt bad about that because the girls go to such lengths. And it's really something that our group is known for. We do a lot of stuff in our group. You really should come over and join us at the Facebook group. If you can stand Facebook at all, just come and join for the group. Um, Javi, you can put the URL for that on here somewhere. You can't do it. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Well, I can put it in the description. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay, so I'll put, the, I'll put it in the description so you guys can find it so you can come. Because I know a lot of you from YouTube do come over. And also, on my community tab on my uh, Beast Boutiques channel, I'll put it there too so you can find it. But anyway, we do a lot of things and you can win stuff. We do every week, we do Work Table Wednesday where you show your table what you're doing. And the only requirement is that you have a few things from Bisa Boutiques. You can have whatever, you know, that you're working on there. Just have to have a few things that you're using from Bisa Boutiques in there, and you're good. And then you can pin your picture to Pinterest, and then we count them all up on Thursday. And so long as we have 20, we do a drawing. And somebody wins just about every week. There haven't been too many times that we didn't do a drawing. So we'd love for you to come in and get in on that fun. And then we have these challenges by the month. And then we have the Sunday earrings challenge. And sometimes I'll just pop up with something. And I'll show something that I made a long time ago that's in a certain type. Like key jewelry, bird jewelry, just whatever, wedding jewelry. I'll say, hey, uh, show your pictures, guys. And they'll just put all their pictures on that thread. And then I'll go count them up and somebody wins a prize. So there's always prizes flying around in our place, let me tell you what. And then, of course, you guys might know that on the live presentation that we have every week here at YouTube, if you come to that, so long as you come and comment, say something, even if it's just hi, you get counted. And at the end of it, within 15, 20 minutes, we have a winner and we post it. And somebody wins a real nice gift for that, too. Sometimes if I'm working on a piece of jewelry, I give them a piece of jewelry. So it's, it's pretty cool. So anyway, so getting back to my part of the challenge, just to show you. I, I'm sorry I'm talking so much, guys, but I have to explain to you what is this and where are we doing it? What's she talking about? Because this is, you know, not something we've talked about much, except we've invited you to come. We haven't really showed you what we're doing. So anyway, so I'm trying to get in on this using the colors. Is this in there? Mm -hmm. Entirely all the colors. Okay, most of them. Anyway, okay, so I came up. I love using this luggage tag finding. So we had plenty of them in the raw brass, so it was not a problem for me to use one and make a project out of it. There are plenty for you, too. If uh, Maybe we can look up the uh, SKU number for you so you could go get one later. But anyway... I thought, okay, so I gotta stick with these colors. What am I gonna do? Well, I gotta, I gotta do my base coat first. Well, if I can spray paint it, I'm gonna spray paint it. You know, because it just, especially when you don't have a lot of time, spray paint works great. It distresses well. You just have to let it cure, and you're good to go. So I had those little shortcuts um, cans. They're about oh this high, maybe. You see them in the craft stores and and in the hardware stores. And they're not real expensive. You get like tons of colors. Well, I had like a chocolate brown. So I thought, well, we'll go with that because that's pretty close to this. I can't really read. It's gotten a little bit blurred. I can't really read. I think it says eggplant, which that would have a little purple in it, really. Well, for me, it's translating like a chocolate brown. So that's what I went with. So for me, I kind of have 
this dark background I have glints of this and glints of that and even a little bit of glint of that so I think okay I'm pretty much covered on all that and the only place that I departed from that is when I put the little flower on it needed a center and I thought well I'm going to use a little bit of blue because I want to put a little blue up around the neck too so I may pull that out yet and do something else but we'll see how the neck looks when it's done but anyway that's that's what I did for that so okay I'm matching there pretty good now I have to figure out for my neckline and this is what I came up with guys I wonder what you'll think we have this wonderful what is this landscape jasper yeah chain this is semi-precious chain it's landscape jasper at the website and it is in case you're wondering it's chn 0866 no 8688 08688 and we have a good bit of it this is all hand wrapped when i order this they make it for me and it's all done hand wrapped and these wraps are good a lot of times you know that wrap chain is leaves a little to be desired because they don't have the loops closed all the way and it's not wrapped good but man i'll tell you whoever wrapped this they got it down because this is good this is good wrapping so anyway so i've got this so i'm not going to wrap the whole chain for me if i've got this here already but hmm now i have to think do i want let me move this out of here for do I want to have just only brown in this thing? I mean, I've got all kinds of shades of brown and stuff, which is great. I think there's even a little bit of um, low-end jade in here, too. But in the challenge, don't you have to have at least two bead colors? Yes. So, how would I meet that? That's a good question, Javi. Thank you for raising it. How do I meet that? Okay. So I would just be staying with latte and caramel. Mm-hmm. Because I pretty much got that in here. Yep. And you know what's cool about these? I just noticed, guys, these beads are all faceted beads. Oh, cool. Really? Yeah. Sweet. Yeah, for the price of it, it's I, it's not terribly high for gemstone chain. I mean, yeah, <laughs> unexpected. Yeah, I I never I noticed. They were no, I did too. I never noticed it. And you know, people haven't been buying this, and I think they're missing the boat because stuff's pretty wonderful. But anyway, so I've got two of the colors, so I could just you know hook this up here. I have to do it here and be done with it. But then this stands out as being kind of odd if I do that. In which case I can take it out and do something else. It's not the end of it. But I think I would like to try and get a little blue in there if I can. So I don't know if it's going to look right or not. It may really mean I have to take this out, but let's just see. Okay, so I had just some ideas. Ooh. Yeah, ooh. I had a few of these little turban beads and then I had some of these and I think that kind of goes nice so I thought maybe I'd wire a few things up here and we'll just play with them and see you know what the possibilities are and we'll see what happens okay, I've got all my wolfies here ready to go okay so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have to cut some of these off now these are the Czech Baroque snail pearls I don't know if we have any left on the site when we when we get them on on our site or Etsy they don't tend to last very long because they're just really they really remind me of Miriam Haskell pearls but they're not they're newly made but anyway I thought I, what I'd do is I thought um, maybe I would get in this mess of stuff and get out some of these little um, swirly beads they almost look like rats. <laughs> Have you guys ever tried these? I'll tell you what, they're a, they're they're just the best stuff and just so cool to use. I should have had these separated out, of course I did. Here, let's do this one. Because I've got we want to get the same size. We carry them in several sizes. We have them in several plating shades. I mean, we just have a lot of them. I love those. It's one of the unusual things you find at our place you don't find elsewhere. So anyway, I thought, okay, I would do this. So I'm gonna put nope. I'm going to do this first. 
Nope, nope, nope. And then put this one on now. These beads are like gold to me. <laughs> I love these beads. And we did have some at the site, but they flew out of there. So I have to get some more. They're a little spendy. I think you put two bead caps in there. Did I? Oh, I did. Oh, thank you, dear. <laughs> they were stacked up together. Okay. Very good. Yeah. Don't, don't you just hate that? You do something dumb like that, and then you go back and you're ready to put it all together, and like, uh, <laughs> or you've already put it together, and there is, it's messed up. Uh, I hate that. Anyway, Javi saved me. So, I'm going to do this. That's nice. Both really nice. Yeah, these, just, these beads just make oh, yeah. everything just fantastic. They're Chuck. But what I would do is, I would take it this and I would split the chain either here or here and then I would add this in and then it will give me a little blue let me make this in, and then we'll see how it looks so I get out my wolfies good old wolfies always talking about them never can get any <laughs> uh, <Soon it'll> be. <laughs> I'm gonna try again next week they just never have them, don't they? <laughs> I hate that. You know, they do get them for me. If I say, you know, we'll have them, we'll have them for you, Brenda Sue. They'll be here. They're not here yet. You know, I should just, like, buy, t you know, 25, 30 pair of them is what I ought to do. And then they'll be here. Because mm -hmm. people buy them. That's true. Okay, so I got my loop going on there. I think I want to make it a little bit smaller than that. Okay. I'll straighten it up later. All right, here we go with the wrappy stuff. Oops. How many wraps do you usually do? I do um, two or three, how, however it fits, you know, whatever I can do. I got this one kind of close, so it's probably going to be two. Good question. But you know what? That's an individual thing. So you do whatever seems good to you, whatever you like. How many you do, Javi? usually depends as well. Mm -hmm. Two or three. Mm -hmm. Two or three. Yeah, just, you know, how it works out. The big thing about doing this is at the end, you know, I've stressed this before, you want to go after, after you nip it, you want to nip it as close as you can. You want to feel over it. Oh, my hands look terrible today. I'm <laughs> sorry, guys. I should have put cream. Somebody's going to be telling me I need a manicure again. We're um, working girls. We're work Remember. <laughs> we're working girls, but still, these are really exceptionally awful. You know, it's winter time and your, yes. your skin gets dry and I haven't put nail polish for a while. I think I had nail polish on since I went to California. Or, or, uh, or makeup. <laughs> no, a few times. I used to wear makeup all the time. I just like, uh, skip it. Nah, we don't need makeup. <laughs> nah. Especially you, you're young and cute. Well, I don't like to wear makeup, period. I just wear it because, you know. Well, you have nice skin. I used to have nice skin, and then I did suntan beds for a lot of years, and now it's wrecked. Oh, well, you know what the moral of that story is. Now, I feel like we're covering all ourselves with all this makeup. Yeah, <laughs> you're just covering up like a big lie. Though sometimes you need to cover up some stuff on your Yeah, face. <laughs> sometimes you get a big zit. Yeah, that's the type haven't, of makeup. I haven't had a zit in years, but, and I never, I'm not, that's one thing I was blessed. I, I really? never, yeah. Did I, you have it when you were a child? I didn't have very many, ever. That's good. I, um, I had really, really nice skin. That's why I say it's such a shame that I ruined it. I go back and look at pictures of when I was young, and I'm like, geez, Brenda, you're so stupid. Why did you do that to yourself? Because I wanted to have a suntan. I didn't want to sit in the sun all day. No, I wouldn't do either. <laughs> you could sit out there now. <laughs> it's probably too cold for that. Yeah, it's like, what, 19 degrees <laughs> out there or something? Yeah. I don't know. I'm going to get two of these done, and I'm going to insert them so we can have a good look before our time is done today. Okay, how's that? Okay, I got this one a little better. Why is that one time you get them good and the next time you don't? It's you practicing so that you get the... This one always comes out. Well, you know, if, one yeah. always comes out you know what? I know. Yeah, I should have done them before we came down here, but you know, it was one of those days. I'm teaching a class right now, and we got into a subject about what's better to have a standalone website or to have Etsy. 
That's a good question. It is a good question. You want to hear the answer? I'll yes. tell you because I do know the answer. I want it. Okay, inquiring minds and all that. While I'm doing this work, I'm not really telling you anything. Well, I'll tell you this. <laughs> and this is um, it's useful. Um, if you're just starting out, you don't want a standalone site. And the reason you don't is because you need to be where the people are. Where are the people? Three places. They're at eBay. Don't go there. Don't go there. <laughs> <laughs> I did 14 years there. I would know. Um, I went. I was at. I was at eBay in the beginning. Ooh, that shows how old I am. Um, I was there in the beginning, and uh, we stayed for 14 years. And then I said, Uncle, I cried, Uncle, and said, I can't do this no more. Bye bye. But anyway, so then I went to Etsy. And Etsy is the best place for somebody like you and me. Oh, these are too big and too small. Um, it's the best place for you and me. Although I do have a standalone, and I'll tell you why. That's okay for me. Um, and then there's Amazon, too. Amazon Handmade. Some people do good at Amazon Handmade, you know, if you just want to show the stuff you make. But I am a parts supplier, so that's not the right place for me. So I have to go on the big boys, Amazon. And that's a killer. So... You know, you have to be pretty stalwart to do that. But anyway, I'm in the process of doing that right now. And why am I doing it? You know, I'm already on Etsy. I'm already on my own standalone. Why am I going to Amazon? Why? Same reason. That's where the people are. We have a lot of people coming to the site. But in time, more people will see us at Amazon. And we want to get our Bisuba 1928 line out there. So... That's the way we figure someone who does what we do should do from all of our research. So I'll just share that with you. For you, though, the best place for you to go is Etsy. Etsy is a softer, kinder, gentler environment. They, everything, all their tools are just easy peasy. And, you know, there's a little learning curve, but it's not difficult. And there are forums and people you can ask to see, you know, what to do if you're stymied. And just, you know, you're going to get your answer. It's going to be great. You know, Etsy's the place to be. But you might say, well, yeah, but, you know, it's so saturated with people. There's millions of people there. And how are you going to get found? Well, guess what? I don't know, big www dot whatever internet. There's even more. There are even more people. Yeah. Okay, so if you think that you're going to be found quicker in a standalone than Etsy, you got another thing coming. There's a ton of work to be able to have your own standalone because you don't have the benefit of what you get at Etsy. And some of your organic SEO is kind of built in there. And s some of it you have to do, but they show you how to do it. It's simple. You go on your own, man. You're really on your own or else you have to hire somebody, which we do a lot of our stuff, our meta tags and stuff like that. We do ourselves, but we, we do have help. And we wouldn't dream of being without it. So, and it's paid. So, there you go. But for us, we've been on the Internet since 1997. So, that means in May, when I first got on, um, I've been on here 22 years, and I've had seven websites. And as far as searches and stuff like that, we could come up higher, but I'm kind of grandfathered in a little bit to an extent. So for me to have a standalone is good. It's also for credibility as well. Um, so, you know, for me it's good. But for you, if you're just starting out, I would say the day will come for that. But at first, go to Etsy. Learn how to do it right. Do the work. I always say a dream is just a dream until you do the work. And there's a lot of work. You know, we, we got into this gig because we love making jewelry, right? But the fact is, when you make enough jewelry, you got to sell it. And you got to go somewhere where you can sell it. So if you do the work right, yes, you can make it at Etsy. 
If somebody tells you that you can't, I'd have to beg to differ because I know too many people who have done well there. So you just that's what I would do. And the costs aren't so high either. So Amazon, they got their hands out for something at every turn in the same way at eBay. The fees are just ridiculous. You think Etsy's bad, you ain't saying nothing yet. So anyway. I'm How about a Facebook store? You could do that too, but there's a lot of promotion. And here's the thing about Facebook. Facebook doesn't make it easy for anybody to find you anymore. They want paid for everything now too. You're not allowed to put anything about selling on your personal pages anymore, which that really hurt me business-wise because I put a little reminder, hey, we put new stuff up at Etsy today and stuff like that. And you know, we get people's attention because I have a lot of Facebook friends and it would come up in the feed and they would see it and then they would come over and check it out. Oh, I'm glad I knew. Yeah, thanks for telling me. But now I can't do that. So you can only sell within a group or on your business page. So you have to develop a following for your business page. Ah, which is not a bad thing to do by any means. But it, you know, if you're going to spend that time, you might as well just go ahead and jump, make the jump and go to Etsy because there'll be more people there than on your Facebook business page. Always go, that's the reason why, for example, we brought our live presentations to YouTube. That's why. Because the people are at YouTube. They're not on my Facebook page. I mean, there's a lot of them there, but there's more here. You know, you go look at our subscribers. We have um, well over 32,000 now. Whoops, that proves that the people are here. Of course, it took us um, nine years to get that, so it was no overnight success, let me tell you. But the people are here. It's proved it. So you go where the people are, and that's my best advice for you. You go where the people are, wherever the people are. And the people, for us, as new artisans, young artisans, are at Etsy. What do you think? I think, Javi. So what I think I'll do now, at the end of things, is put a little blue drop Ooh. down here. Yes. I think I'll do that. And then, um, now, on this... I'm going to put at least another section going up. I have to find out how long this is on me. If it's going to show and not be like going up around my neck already, I'll put three. But I might just put two. Normally three is better. One or three is better. But um, I might just have to do two and it'll be okay. And then what I'll do is I'll split the chain back here. I'll apply my lobster, put on my extender, because I always do that, and then and put my little bead down here to kind of pull it all together, and then we'll be done. What do you see? What do you see there, Javi? Use that bead cap. <laughs> you want me to use that bead cap? Yeah, for the end drop. <laughs> yeah, that'd be nice. That'd be cute. I see you do that sometime, huh? I'm going to stick that right in here so I don't lose it. How's that? <laughs> okay, guys. So this is what I'm going to do. Instead of holding you up here forever more today. Because it's Friday night and you want to go out and have fun, right? Yeah. <laughs> Javi does. Anyway, I'm thinking of Javi. She does and she won't be here all night. So anyway, I'm going to finish this up tonight. Because I don't have too much else cooking. While she's doing this, and we'll have some dinner. I'll finish this up. I'll get Jan's stuff ready to send back to her. Well, no, I'll leave them out. Because my, here's my plan. Sunday, 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 <laughs> 4.30 p.m. EST. That will be March 1st, 2019. Come to the videos page of Bisa Boutique's channel, and you'll see us pop up live around 4.30, give or take a few minutes. Sometimes we're a little bit slow pokey, but we'll be there. And when I get there this week, I'm going to have my pieces made because I have another one I want to do. Real quick, I'll just show you what, where I'm going with it. I have this bow that I spray painted in distress, and I have these lovely, lovely peacocks. And I thought I would make something like this, maybe a little dangle drop, and then I'll have to hang my chain from here. So I'm going to have to figure out how to do that because this is a really tiny hole to get two pieces of chain in. But I'll figure it out, and then we'll talk about it on Sunday and then you can comment and remember if you come and you comment even if you just say hi you're counted and you could win the gift you really really truly could 
So, and we love to see you win. Somebody wins every week. So come and join us. You, it's like a party, actually. Everybody's talking to each other, and it's, yep. it's, it's really, really fun. Javi gets into it. Yeah. Yeah, you think so Javi doesn't she... talk much because she never really has weight. Come over to live. She's, she's, a li <laughs> she's a live wire. Okay, so I'm going to shut up now, but at least you can see where I'm going. This is my challenge piece, my main challenge piece. Finish the neckline, put my little dangle drop, put my closure, my clasp. And I think I've got my colors going on. So I'm proud of myself. Jan and Marsha, I made the challenge this month. Yay! <laughs> so anyway, why don't you come over and join us at the Facebook group, Bisa Boutique's Creative Group at Facebook. Come and ask to join. We'll let you in. And then you can get in on this fun too and expand your brain because I had to think of what to do to get this to work, baby. All righty. We'll see ya on Sunday. Be there or be square. Remember, it's every Sunday. Every Sunday, unless we have to go away on Sunday, and then we'll let you know ahead of time. Okay, shut up, zip it up. Love you all. Thanks for coming. Bye-bye. Wait a second. No, oh, wait. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Oh, I always forget to dun, tell dun, you that. Dun. Like, comment, and subscribe, please. Thank you. Yeah, we don't get paid for that or nothing either. No. It just, it just okay. makes our hearts happy. So it helps us. if we made you happy, maybe you can make us happy. Okay, that's fair. All right, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye.